Hey guys, it's Nicholas Wolf here from Wolf Design. I just thought I'd quickly throw together a video of how I made my own 3D printed watch. So to start off with, what I did was I took some dimensions off my wrist. So what I did is I just uh, plotted my wrist into a few different spots and that way I got a really nice curve that I could then throw into a CAD program. So I used uh, Fusion 360 this time. Then I come up with this CAD design. So basically what I did is just uh, a basic spline curve uh, in a full sort of ellipse shape and then uh, yeah, offset it to create the thickness and then I modified it a bit to suit what I wanted it to look like. Uh, I made a simple little clip mechanism as you can see there. From there I went on and I put it onto the printer and as you can see it's pretty straightforward basically just uh, put the file onto the SD card and then put it into the printer and then scroll down and click print and away it goes so first off this one has to heat up the build plate that means that the plastic can then stick to the to the base of the 3D printer so you'll see here initially it'll calibrate up the 3D printer's base to know, make sure it's level and then it uh, madly goes about making a nice little flat platform. Now this first video I have here is actually uh, a test I ran just to test out a, the model in uh, five millimeters thickness and that way I could see if that clip mechanism would work or whether I'd have to redesign it. So yeah, you can see here it's uh, building it up layer by layer and because it does it in 0 0.06 millimeter increments, it's actually quite a time consuming process so that took 20 minutes to print that first piece um, and then I had to step it up to full size so the clip worked which was great um, and then moving on to the full size I changed the location of the print just to see if anything would change um, and now basically it told me it's going to take 3 hours and 52 minutes to print this so luckily for you you don't have to watch all that but um, yeah this is nearly three quarters of the way done now there's a few little discolorations where certain things have happened. Uh, yeah, temperature is a really big thing when it comes to this type of 3D printing. There the print's finished and the bed is rising, lowering back down. Um, you can see here I just unclipped the bed and I'm taking it out so that I can remove my print because basically it's glued sort of in a way to the base. So here we use a nice sharp spatula, it's got a flat side and cut away the base on a real low angle so you don't damage the the bed of the 3D printer and you're basically just cutting away little pins, you'll see them later um, that have been embedded into those holes in the build plate. It's pretty straightforward, just nice and gentle uh, with the firm pressure. And here's the piece, so what we've got is actually, uh, yeah, there's the bedding plate with the little pins you can see there and it's actually stuck together quite simply it's just a thin layer of stuff that's not very heavily adhe adhered to it and you can just clip it off um, now here you can see that my mechanism didn't print quite as well in this orientation as it did in the previous orientation so i just had to clean it up since i'd spent so much time printing this one i thought i might as well use it and test it and see how long it lasts anyway so i'm using <laughs> this awesome little drill press that pair made um, yeah, it's quite a cool little thing. But, uh, yep, so I got the pinholes drilled out to match the pins in my watch, and now I put it back together, and it's just pretty straightforward. Uh, I've actually got the watch on upside down there. I didn't realize at the time. A little bit carried away. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, yeah, thanks for watching. And, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just ask. But, really, it's just a matter of trying and learning for yourself. It's, it's good fun experimenting. Thanks for your time.